you are going to pair up with someone. One of you is going to role play being the dog, being trained to do something. The other person is the trainer. Dogs are going to go in the hallway for a moment. Trainers are going to come see me. And you are going to be given a card with a behavior on it that you need to train your partner, dog, to do. These are human behaviors, guys, OK? <laughs> they are not socially embarrassing. So if you think your partner is trying to train you to take your shirt off, it's not, OK? <laughs> They're not socially embarrassing. Trainers. First thing you're going to have to do is find out what your dog likes as a reinforcer. Reese's Pieces, M&Ms, or Skittles. Because if your dog isn't willing to work, this isn't going to work at all. I do have clickers here if you don't have a clicker. And trainers. You do not get to talk to your dog. You get to click and reward. Now, things that I have seen happen over the years. When you reward, you may hand the cookie and your partner may take this. You do not need to take this and put it in your partner's mouth. <laughs> things you wouldn't anticipate people actually doing, okay? So I'm just trying to set you up for success here, okay? So you can click and reinforce. Don't forget what we just talked about in terms of splitting into small components. And don't forget placement of reward. Okay? So one of the cards is not to send the dog through the tunnel. But if it were, I would position myself near the tunnel, I would click, and I would reward near what I want the dog to engage with. Okay, both of you are going to have the opportunity to role play both dog and trainer. When you think your dog has accomplished this, when you think you've been successful with your training, please don't talk about it. Sit down. And then we're going to have a group discussion about what were you trained to do and find out if you were correct or not. So don't discuss your card when you think you have achieved it.